I have got a very disturbing story that just came out. And it's disturbing in that it's super creepy and spooky and kind of zombie-like and it's just in time for Halloween. But it's, it's actually a satisfying story because it vindicates a lot of old wisdom. And the story is this. Blood transfusions might change your personality. If you get, a lot of people get blood transfusions. There is scientific evidence that you don't just get blood and you don't just get platelets. You get an increased risk of certain diseases. Okay, maybe you could say, well, it's just a protein or something that's going along with the blood. And you get potentially changes in your personality and your mood and your tastes and it's really, really weird. Researchers at the Karolinska Institute in Sweden published a major study that showed that a cause of spontaneous brain hemorrhage could be transmitted via blood transfusion. As I said, that could just be some protein or something like that. But it might go deeper than that. And there's a lot of evidence that it does go deeper. Five years ago, a study by Geneva University reported that nearly half of patients reported changes in their behavior and values after receiving blood transfusions. There have also been well well, of course, this is interesting because uh, the Bible says the life is in the blood. So, you know, this doesn't really surprise me all that much. It just kind of surprises me that people have taken this long to figure this out. Uh, now, I don't think, I don't think uh, the, uh, how do you say? I mean, I don't see nothing wrong in a transfusion, to tell you the truth. I mean, uh, I'm not a Jehovah Witness. I know they are famous for not taking transfusions, for not uh, doing a whole mess of stuff. They don't even believe in hell, though. But So, I don't know. I don't know about uh, how God is going to rule that. I don't think he's going to like the idea of somebody changing his Bible. But anyway, let's listen to uh, Michael Knows. I love this guy here. Popular, well-publicized stories, rather, of people who had organ transplants, and then their tastes changed. In the U.S., there was a 47-year-old woman who had a lung transplant from an 18-year-old, and then immediately had a craving for beer and fried chicken, which were things that this woman had not previously craved, but that every 18-year-old in the country uh, does crave. The researchers interviewed seven people who had received blood transfusions, uh, for things like hip replacements and other surgeries. They found out three of the seven believed that their personalities had changed. One said he's... Okay, so... I don't know. I think I think it's always a possibility. I mean, you're taking, you're taking something from another person and cells do have memory. I mean, we are constantly regenerating, and uh, what can I say, man, you know? I mean, I just hope I don't get a transfusion from, uh, you know, Jeffrey Dahmer or something, you know? I got enough stomach problems <laughs> without, without having to take on, uh, you know, Hannibal Lecter kind of disease or something, or or, or favoritism, favorite kind of meat the other other white meat <laughs> white meat oh no well somewhat slept and dreamt a lot more than before another said his sense of taste had changed I mean, he found this worrying he said i hope that the donor's blood cannot take over this is really great news even though it's spooky and creepy because this is the donor's blood is going to take over well, I'll tell you one thing. I would like to be, I would like one person's blood to take over, and that's the blood of Jesus. How's that? I think that would be great. A vindication of classical anthropology. This is a vindication of the old way of, of viewing human nature, not the new way of viewing human. The new way of viewing human nature is that we're all just machines, man. We're like computers, plug and play, you know? And we're just, we're, we're like a hard drive and, and different, like, just like in different parts of a machine, you can just pull out our mm, plug and play. Yeah. Well, that sounds interesting, but, uh, I don't think so. 
I mean, there is, uh, we, are, we are people, and we were created in the image of God. Some of us don't act like we are created in the image of God, but that was the original intent. We were, we were, we were made to worship God. We are, the Bible says God has put eternity in the hearts of men. So let's listen to the rest of this here. It's pretty good. Parts and they're interchangeable and you can plug them into new people and it's no big deal. The classical understanding of human nature is, is not that. The classical understanding of human nature is that we are an integrated whole, that we are a primary substance, that you can't just plug and play our different parts, like on a car. You know, on a car, you can go in, you can take out a catalytic converter from one car, you can put it into another car, and it's going to work just fine. You can pull out the transmission here, you can plug it in. Well, that's kind of interesting. Uh, I'm sure that, uh, sir, remember that movie? I think it was The Island with uh was it was it dick york was the old one and then they made a new one with uh with this guy uh the guy who did uh, obi-wan kenobi what is his name ewing mcgregor i think it is i don't remember i'm not sure you know at 66 going on 67 in november you know i don't i don't know but anyway this is this is kind of interesting i like this because, to use the old terminology, a car and all these other created things, they're just artifacts. We make them, so they're not, they're not totally integrated in the way that a human being is. A human being being a primary substance made by God. One wow, that's good right there. Made by God. That's good. That's good. I like it. Uh, and we were made to work. That's something that these uh, TikTokers and these new generation of people who are coming into uh, the workforce, they just don't understand it. I didn't understand it for long, but we were, we were made to work. Adam was given the job as a, uh, as a gardener, you know, or a farmer, whatever. He was supposed to, he was supposed to take care of the garden. You know, that was his original job. Problem for this old view of human nature in recent years has been that it seems like with organ transplants, we actually are kind of like the catalytic converter. We actually are like a car or like any other artifact. You can just plug us and play. And another bad thing about um, transfusions, uh, body transfusion, organ transplants, whatever, um, is that some people actually think that that started the whole AIDS thing. Because they were looking for a, uh, they were looking for a way because the, 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 uh, how do you say, taking organs from one to another, right? The, what is it, transplant? The transplant uh, will go a lot easier if the body won't reject that organ. You know, because the body will look at it like something different. You know, blood, I don't know. I guess that could happen too. But uh, I think if it's the same blood type, you know, it's not going to happen. I don't know. I mean, it's been a long time since I went to uh, medical school. <laughs> I was a doctor in Brazil. I keep on telling people that, and they actually believe it. No, I, don't, I wasn't a doctor in Brazil. Even though in the jungles of Brazil, I guess you can get away with anything. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the uh, you know this is totally fascinating. Yes, and there's so many people, especially prominent voices in the academy and in the government and in the cultural elite, who say, "Yeah, we're just machines. We think we have free will. We think we have souls. We think we have desires and longings and meaning. But it's all just fake. It's an illusion made by firing pistons in our brain. Even the term pistons, you know, to compare it to a car. And uh, so you're just deluding yourself. You're just but. Maybe not. Maybe our, our organs don't just plug and play like that. Maybe mm. actually it's all part of that one person. And you could get a blood transfusion, and things start to go a little haywire. And you start, you start craving chicken and beer. And you start, maybe they're, they're really for us, and we are one thing that is... Uh, what if I'm... What, if, <laughs> what, what am I going to... 
What am I going to crave if I get a transfusion from a gay guy? <laughs> That's crazy right there. <laughs> integrated. Not just in our body, but taking it one step further. Maybe we're integrated body and soul. Maybe, maybe we're actually not machines, but human beings. That's true. We are, we, are, we are not machines. We are human beings. Very good. Well, that's my uh, 10 minutes and 30 seconds of, uh, of funny today. Have yourself a great day.